In this lesson we're going to talk about the Zlib module in Node.js and how you can use it to compress files. So Zlib is actually a module that bundles lots of different algorithms that can be used to compress large amounts of data. And in Node.js this is done with streams which we covered in a previous lesson. So let's dive in with an example and actually compress a large file. And the first thing I'm going to do is just require the Zlib module. And the compression algorithm I'm going to use is gzip. So I'm just going to create an instance of a gzip stream and save it in a variable. And because we're working with files, we'll also want to import our file system module. And let's set up some input and output streams for the source and destination files. And if you were following a few lessons ago, we did create a file called hello.html, which was around 200 megabytes. So let's use that as our source file. And for the output file, I've simply appended .gz to indicate that the file has been gzipped. So this is an example of how streams can be really powerful in Node.js, because simply all we need to do now is take our input stream, which is a file system read stream, and then we can simply pipe it to the gzip stream that we just created. So that will ensure that the input file is processed by the gzip algorithm, and then we just need to tell gzip where to actually store the results. So we can use another pipe and provide it with our output write stream. And we can actually put these pipe functions onto separate lines just to illustrate the data flow and to make the code a little bit easier to read. But of course that's up to your own personal style if you wish to do that or keep it on one line. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this compression program now. And it does take a few seconds to process the file. But once that's done, if we actually examine the input and output files, you can see that the original file was 201 megabytes and the compressed file is 498 kilobytes. So that's quite a significant amount of space saved. And that's partly due to the fact that the HTML input file was just the same line of text repeated over and over again. So repeating data lends itself well to being compressed. So there are other functions in the Zlib module that will enable you to uncompress files and also use different algorithms. And in Visual Studio Code, if we simply examine the properties and functions that are available on that Zlib module, you can see we've got functions for unzipping and also synchronous functions if you don't want to actually use a stream. And there's also functions for using the Brotley algorithm as well. So that's just a quick example of how to use the Zlib module. And you can see that it's relatively easy to implement that should you have a need to compress any files that you're working with in your Node application. 